Hi everyone, Luna here, back with yet more unique weapons and armor guides for Starfield. And today we're going to go over how to get the game's most overpowered armor, which is very much missable and is tied to the main quest with multiple endings. You can also get a weapon here, which is also missable, but much easier to find, the Experiment A7, to go along with your legendary armor. And since this video is tied to the main story, this is obviously going to have spoilers. So if you don't want to see this, then you can just skip this one. Otherwise, let's jump into it. You need to play through the main quest until you start the Entangled mission where you head to Nishina to find an artifact. Inside of here, you're constantly teleporting between your own and another ruined dimension of the facility and you need to navigate through in order to get the artifact at the end. During the mission, at some point, you will speak with the security officer, Ethan. You can't miss this part as it's part of the quest, but what is missable is if you don't persuade him to give you something to help fight the Cartaxi. If you choose this option, you will be rewarded with the Experiment A7. Next, we're going to head all the way to the end of the mission, where you need to pick up the artifact, and you do it by activating seven switches, but don't touch them yet. First, we're going to clear out the enemies in both realities, and then head to the computer control room at the top. There are actually three possible endings to this quest. One is to activate the seven switches in the Rune universe. Everyone in the main universe will no longer exist, but Raphael will follow you. You can activate all the switches in the regular universe, and the ruined one will be gone along with Raphael. But we're going to go with secret option number three and save both universes, and doing so we'll be rewarded with the game's best legendary armor, other than the Starborn armor of course, and to do this we need to bring the frequencies of both universes closer together. So activate the computer, and the first step is to degauss the switches. If you click degauss, it tells you the switches to activate, and all you're going to do is go to the switch, turn it on, and then turn it back off. Switch to the opposite universe, and we're going to do the same again. Once that's done, we're going to need to initiate the frequency calibration. I think this step is different for everyone, so you just have to keep trying different combinations until one works. You need to get the two frequencies closer together. And what worked for me was pressing 40 hertz in the regular universe. and 24 hertz in the ruined but again i'm not sure this will work for everyone so just keep trying different combinations once that's done you have to activate the primary calibration in both universes and you will save both You wake up in the infirmary and as a reward are given the legendary Nishina armor, the best one in game excluding Starborn, which you get in New Game Plus. Unfortunately though, this one doesn't come with a pack, it's only the armor and the helmet, which is a little annoying, but still it's the best armor in game. So there you have it guys, two very much missable items in Starfield, but two of the best you can find. Like and subscribe for more Starfield guides and I will see you in the next video. Bye.